When you think of landlord-tenant disputes, you might picture a modest apartment or house where repairs aren't being made. But a local woman is in a battle over a house that cost her $3,000 a month in rent. She contacted Consumer Problem Solver Connie Thompson when she couldn't take it anymore. Connie? And this tenant, Dan and Molly, isn't going after the landlord. She's going after the property management company that helped her rent the home. We thought it would be nice and peaceful here. And the online ad described a 4,300 square foot home in Kingston with everything a tenant would want. Stunning, spacious interiors with no detail overlooked. More than nine acres of peace and quiet, or so Geneva Carmen thought. I just want to get my child and get the heck out of here. Carmen told me it's been one thing after another. First, the discovery that one of the nearby outbuildings is also a rental, a fact she insists was never disclosed when she called from Florida to rent the home. I have pictures of six to seven cars per night there. They're coming and going. On top of disruptions by vehicles and construction trucks, Carmen says the landlord moved onto the property in his camper. He's bringing people over. He's coming inside of our house. He's ringing the doorbell and, you know, saying, I want to come in and look at the house. You know that by law in this state, the landlord has to give you written notice yes. before they come over. Yes. That hasn't happened. Never. It got worse. Because we called Puget Sound Energy and they said there's one meter on the property and it's in my name. She discovered she'd been paying for the electricity used in both buildings. You hold the real estate company responsible for what's Abs happening here. A hundred percent, yes. I feel like they neglected to tell us all of these things. I went to the property management office to find out what happened. The owner of Windermere's West Sound office wasn't available, but later contacted me by phone. But Mike Pitts couldn't say much. I understand there is a dispute, he told me. We have been in contact with both parties and are not able to comment. Although Pitts did say the company had begun terminating its landlord relations with the homeowner. Windermere also offered Geneva Carmen the option of breaking her lease so she could find somewhere else to live. Regardless of property managers, the state tenant union says in most cases the buck stops with the landlord. And it's the tenant's responsibility to notify the landlord in writing immediately about any disputes. The owner of that Kingston house declined to talk to me for this report. Geneva Carmen, meanwhile, has moved out and she's asking Windermere for extra compensation. There's a lot we need to pay attention to when we're renting. Yeah, so many legalities that you have to know. Very many. Connie, thank you. You're welcome.